it, uh... Yep, it's a wash tub. Wash tubs. Hmm. Wow, this looks like it'll be fun. I'm going to wait here. Go on ahead without me. What's wrong, Professor Sage? Nothing. I'm not getting in that thing. It looks fun. Come on, let's get in. Yeah, Rain. Ah! Ah! Professor Sage, are you afraid of water or something? I... I was just starting to say, ah! This should be fun. Mm, sure. <laughs>
a chance. One fight after another.
Hashtag of these three deals. I can tell him! Work! Are you ready? Angel feathers! I must admit, I'm interested as well. A summoning pact. Hmm. It's easy for you to say. I, I might fail, you know. You'll do fine. I mean, I don't really know how it works, but... Boy's right. If anyone can do it, you can, Sheena. You don't even know anything about it. Fine, I'll do it. But don't blame me if something goes wrong and you get hurt. I am one who is bound to Mythos. What is your name? Mythos? The hero of the Karlon War? Not only was Mythos a swordsman, he had the ability to summon as well? Mythos is a common boy's name. It's not necessarily Mythos the hero. I am Sheena. I seek a pact with Undine. As things stand now, I cannot. Wh why I am already bound by a pact. I cannot form two packs at the same time. You mean you're packed with that Mythos guy? What am I supposed to do now? They never said anything about this at the Research Institute. Well, what should we do, Lloyd? Uh... Huh. Well, can't you just get her to cancel the old pact? How? 
We don't even have any idea where this Mythos person is. A summon spirit pact requires a vow. As long as the pact maker upholds that vow, the pact remains valid. That is correct. I know about that. The summon spirit approves the pact maker's vow and agrees to the pact. Exactly. Therefore, all you need to do is follow Lloyd's advice and request the annulment of the previous pact to form a new one. It's possible the previous pact maker has broken his vow, or he may have already passed away. Is it really that simple? I suppose you could call it simple. But if the previous pact maker is still alive and hasn't broken his vow, then there's nothing we can do about it. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Undini, I am Sheena. I ask that thou annulst thy pact with Mythos and establish a new pact. Before I can allow the formation of a new pact, I must test your worthiness as a pact maker. Draw your weapons. What? We have to fight? Let it begin. I shall judge your worth. Ready? 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 Now swear your vow. Right now, at this very moment, there are people who are suffering. I vow to save those people. Understood. I pledge my power to you, Sheila. I get to see you summon Undini. You have a surprising breadth of knowledge, Kratos. I once had an acquaintance who was somewhat knowledgeable about summon spirits. I see.
is gonna be a piece of cake. No way! That was just warming up. Professor Sage, it's Colette's angel toxicosis. I see. Let's rest here for today. What's wrong, Colette? I would assume she's lost her voice. What? Everyone, I have something to say. Huh? I want to explain to everyone why I was trying to assassinate the Chosen. All right, we're listening. Tell us about your homeland. A land that doesn't exist in this world. You knew? No. But you said it yourself that Silveront will be saved. That must mean you aren't from Silveront. Yeah. You know, it's really a shame that your intellect's being wasted here. You're right. My homeland is not here. Not in Silveron. What does that mean? My world is called Tetheala. Tetheala? You mean the moon? <laughs> of course not. My world isn't on the moon. Even I really don't understand the specifics. But there's another world that lies entwined with Silveron. As shadow is to light. That's Tetheala. My world. Two entwined worlds? The two worlds lie directly adjacent to each other. They just can't see one another. Our scholars say they exist on shifted dimensions. Anyway, the two worlds can't see or touch each other, but they do in fact exist next to and affect each other. What do you mean, affect each other? They vie for the supply of mana. When one world weakens, the mana from that world flows to the other. As a result, one world is always flourishing and the other waning. Sort of like an hourglass. Wait, so right now Silverond is... Yeah. Silverond's mana is flowing to Tetheala. Therefore, Silverond is in decline. Without mana, crops won't grow and magic becomes unusable. If there's no mana, the summoned spirits that protect the world alongside the goddess Martel can't survive in Silverond either. As a result, the world slips even further down the path of destruction. Then the Chosen's world regeneration is actually the process of reversing the mana flow? Exactly. When the Chosen breaks a seal, the mana flow reverses and the summoned spirit that governs the seal awakens. I was sent to prevent the world regeneration from happening. I broke through the supposedly impassable dimensional fissure for the sake of protecting Tetheala. In other words, to assure the decline and destruction of Silveron? You can say that. But your journey of regenerate is also an attempt to destroy Tetheala. We're both doing the same thing. It's hard for me to believe all of this. I'm the proof. I possess summoning arts that have been lost from this world. Please don't look at me like that, Colette. I know that wasn't your intention. I don't know what I should do either. I came here to protect Tetheala. But this world is impoverished and everyone is suffering. But if I allow the world regeneration to occur, then Tetheala will become just like this. But right now you're helping us, right? Yes, but that doesn't mean I can just abandon Tetheala. I, I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other way? A way for Silveront, Tetheala, and Colette to all be happy? I want to know too. Have you considered that perhaps nothing that convenient exists in the real world? The best thing we can do right now is to save Silveron from its current crisis. What if we don't regenerate the world and just defeat the Desaians? Although we succeeded in destroying a ranch, we cannot possibly eliminate all the Desaians, and the mana will eventually be exhausted. Is mana really that important? 
I suppose only magic users and scholars worry about it. But mana is even more important to life than water. Without it, the land will die. Mana is the source material which composes everything. At least that's what I've been taught. Unfortunately, the giant tree of ever-flowing mana in fairy tales doesn't exist in the real world. We live by chipping away at the limited amount of available mana. Why do you think the ancient magi technology was lost? Because mana disappeared from the world. Correct. Magi technology consumes large amounts of mana. If things continue... Colette? R... E... M... I? Ah, you're trying to spell something, right? I'll try asking Remiel if there's a way to save the two worlds. If it doesn't work out, I may have to kill you after all. Sheena! When that time comes, I may fight back because I love Silverant too. I understand. You intend to become an angel no matter what, don't you?
you're in for a world of hurt. Let's get out of here. Ah, gotta know when to go. You're in for a world of hurt. No Rising Alright. Gotta know when to go!
One fight after another. Get him! Oh, oh, oh. Don't get too co- Get out of here! Yeah. Gotta know when to go! This is gonna be a piece. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Gotta know when to go. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Gotta know when to go.
finally down to the last seal. Let's split up for tonight. But don't go outside the village. Understood? Yup. Got it. We'll be leaving in the morning. Good night, everyone. Sleep well. You want to thank me? Don't worry about it. Despite knowing what your future holds, this is all I can do for you. Tomorrow, Silver Aunt will be saved. What are you gonna do? Good question. Well, the only thing I can do is believe in the Chosen. The Chosen from this side seems to be trustworthy enough. What does that mean? Is there a Chosen you can't trust? <sighs> Tetheal is Chosen. I can't stand that guy. I see. Tetheala has a Chosen too. Two worlds, two Chosen. If there really is a goddess, why did she make a world like this? Yeah, no kidding. I want to kick her for doing this. <laughs> Seriously? I wish I could do that myself. Go see Colette. This is her last night. Last night? It's her last night as a human. Professor, you're a scholar, right? Can't we do anything? Don't you understand yet? You're not too bright. It's because I'm a scholar that I'm fascinated by Colette as she continues to transform into an angel. You can't be serious, Professor. You think so? Now go to her. The Tower of Salvation is so close now. We've come quite a long way. Yeah. It's at a time like this that I stop and think how stupid I've been. Why? Because I don't even know if the way things have turned out is good or bad. No one knows that. The ones who think they do are the stupid ones. You think so? Definitely. I guess you're right. You say some cool things every now and then. Thanks, Lloyd. Your journey is finally coming to an end. This isn't the end I hoped for. Really? It's the journey you started by clinging to the Chosen. This was to be expected. Clinging to the Chosen? Don't you remember? It was you who said we have the Chosen on our side. The Savior who will regenerate the world. Yeah, that's right. I said that. And that's why I have to protect her. If relying and depending on the power of the Chosen at the most crucial time is what it means to protect her, then the meaning of the word protect must have changed significantly from my understanding. And now, the Chosen is trying to resolve everything by sacrificing herself. What are you trying to say? Lloyd, don't make a mistake. I don't quite get it, but I got it. But hey, if I make a mistake, can't I just do it over again? Do it over. If it's something you can do over again, then feel free. Go talk to everyone. I'll come back later. Well, aren't I going? No, it's okay. Let's talk for a bit. You can write. The world regeneration. It's almost time. I'm sorry? 
Why are you apologizing? This is the end, and yet I can't even speak. I know that's weird. You dork, that doesn't matter. No matter what happens to you, you're still you. Even if you become an angel, even if you become like marble, I won't ever think you're weird. Ever. Anyway, I'm the one that has to apologize. Even though I promised I'd make you that gift before our journey ended, I kept thinking we still had a ways to go. I never even got close to finishing it. I'll wait forever. Even after I become an angel, I'll keep on waiting. You can give it to me any time. Okay, this time I'm really going to make it, no matter how long it takes. Can I ask you one last thing? Are you sure you won't regret this? Are you sure you want to become an angel? The truth is, I'm a little scared. Yeah, I would be too. But if giving up my life as a human means that Silveront will be reborn, then it's almost like my life is spreading out to fill the entire world. When I think about it like that, I'm okay. You're strong, Colette. <sighs> the wind's pretty cold. Let's go back to the inn. Ah, uh, sorry. That's right, you can't feel it. Damn it, isn't there anything we can do? was Kratos, wasn't it? Where's he going? You'll have to continue watching over Lloyd for me. <laughs> I have things I must do. In my place, I need you to... <gasps> Kratos, look out! <laughs> Stop! Kratos, are you okay? Lloyd, thank you. Uh, I was nothing. But who was that? I would imagine it's that assassin. He managed to get away, but I gave him an injury he'll not soon forget. I have a feeling I've seen him somewhere before. Yes, perhaps. Let's get back to the inn. Everyone's probably up. Yeah. Lloyd. Hmm? What is it? Don't die. What? Yeah. Okay. Well, what's up all of a sudden? Don't worry about it. How can he tell me not to worry after saying something like that? What's this? There's some strange letters carved into it.
Colette and the others. Looks like they've gone in already. Let's hurry up. the final seal. In doing so, you will complete the final sacrifice of your human existence, your heart, and your memory. By doing so of your own free will, you will become a true angel. What? Sacrifice her heart and memory? Colette's going to forget about us? Colette's human life will now end, and she will be reborn as an angel. Professor Sage, what is he talking about? Lloyd, I'm sorry. I promised Colette I wouldn't say anything. Colette will give up her life in order to regenerate the world. Becoming an angel means dying. That's not quite correct. The Chosen's heart will die, and her body will be offered to the Goddess Martell. By offering her body, Colette will revive the Goddess. This is the true nature of the world regeneration. The revival of the Goddess Martell is the revival of the world itself. That... that's... Lord Remiel, we have heard that a world known as Tefeala lies parallel to Silverant. That is not for you to know. You kept it a secret because it is true, correct? From whom did you learn of it? Can't Crucius make both worlds peaceful? If that is what the Chosen desires, she can lend her power to Crucius by becoming an angel. Once the goddess Martell is revived by the Chosen, the two worlds will surely achieve peace, just as the Chosen wishes. <gasps> is that true, you ask? You know why you have come here. Uh, you can't! Are you really planning to die? Colette, stop! If you sacrifice yourself, your friends who love you, and your family, and... and me, we'll all be sad. It'll be the same as sacrificing all of us. <gasps> Genus, let me go! I don't want anything to happen to her either. But what else are we supposed to do? The people of Silverun are suffering too. The sacrifice of one single person, the Chosen, will save the world. Are you saying that you would choose the Chosen Soul over the entire world? Now, Colette, come join your father. Wait! Remiel! Is there really no other way? Colette's your daughter! Surely you don't really want her to die either. My daughter? Don't make me laugh. When I came down to play the role of Guardian Angel, you inferior beings just started calling me her father on your own. Wh what? I merely placed the Crucius Crystal upon this sacrifice, who was selected to become Martel's vessel. Colette! Lloyd, it's okay. I realized what was going on. Every time I met Remiel, I felt that he was not my real father. But still, for some reason, I still feel like I want to cry. Colette, if you realized what was going on, then why... You can hear my voice? I'm so happy! I'll be able to say goodbye to you in the end. Colette, I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I'm so sorry. 
I promised I wouldn't make another mistake. But it looks like I have again. No. Thank you, Lloyd. Because of you, I was able to find the courage to protect the world. Because of you, I was able to find the strength to live these 16 years to the fullest. So please... What? It looks like... it's time. Goodbye. <laughs> I've done it. It's finally complete. Martel's vessel is finally complete. With this, I shall become one of the four Seraphim. Wait just a minute. What are you going to do with Colette? He's going to take her to heaven. Bastard. You pay for this. Crucius, the angels, the goddess Martel. It's all a big lie, isn't it? Let her go! Now! That I cannot do. For she is Martel's vessel. This is Martel's new body, which took years to complete. I have no more use for any of you. Be gone! I have no further need of you. Be gone! Punishment! Photon! I'm going to restore you back to your normal self, I promise! Colette, have you really forgotten me? You're wasting your time. Not only did she lose her memory, but she has lost the soul to listen to your words. Now Colette is merely a puppet standing before death's door. Kratos! Where have you been? What are you saying? The Chosen desired the regeneration of the world and chose this path herself. By the summoning of the Chosen to Daris Karlon, the seal will be broken and the regeneration will be complete. Kratos, what are you talking about? It is what you wanted as well. We will take the Chosen as the new body for Martel. What are you talking about? Kratos, answer me! Lord Kratos, have pity on me. Please, lend me your aid. Have you forgotten, Remio? I was once of the inferior race, a human. Does the ultimate being seek help from that which he despises the most? Move out of the way. Kratos, who are you? 
I am of Crucius, the organization that guides this world. I am one of the four Seraphim, sent forth to keep close watch over the Chosen. Kratos is an angel too? You deceived us! Deceived? If the Chosen merges with Martell, she will awaken and the world will be saved. Is that not what you wanted? Once her body is taken by the goddess Martell, Colette will truly die. No, she will be reborn as Martell. Damn it! You think I'm gonna let you do that? Colette is our friend! You earnestly believe you can defeat me? No weapon can fight spear! Alright! Ice tornado! Are you okay? <laughs> Time to finish this! I guess not even you could bring yourself to fight against such an opponent. Lord Yggdrasil. Who's that? Another angel? Are you Lloyd? Give me your name and I'll give you mine. <laughs> People need not introduce themselves to a dog. What did you say? Fine. I shall tell you my name, wretched human. I am Eugdrasio, leader of Crucius and the Desions. I'll show you the meaning of true power. Perish! That's all.
Kratos, I trust you have no objections. <sighs> Farewell. Damn! The Chosen has already become an angel. We have no choice. We're taking her back with us alive. Renegades, as irritating as ever. Still, it is of little consequence. Kratos, let us leave. As you wish. Hmm. Saved by the Renegades. Don't die, Lloyd. Lloyd, you're finally awake! Uh, where are we? Where's Colette? She doesn't respond to anything we say. Damn it! Lloyd, do you remember this place? We're in Triet Desert, remember? This is the base where you were captured before. The Desion base? These guys aren't Desions. What? What do you mean? So many things happened at once. I'm confused too. Then why don't we go over everything we know about the situation as it stands now? First, our current situation. When we were about to be killed in the Tower of Salvation, we were rescued by the organization on this base that resembles the Desions. They call themselves the Renegades. Uh, so what you're saying is that the people here are called Renegades and not Desions? Okay, I really don't get it, but go on. It seems that the Renegades oppose the Desions. They probably have a reason for intentionally trying to look like Desions. Alright, I think I get it now. We were saved by an organization called the Renegades that looks a lot like the Desions. So then who is that angel guy, you Drassiel or whatever? And what about Kratos? Do you remember you Drassiel's words? This is just pure conjecture, but... Crucius, holy beings worshipped by the Church of Martell, and the Desions may in fact be the same organization. Whoa, wait! What? How could that be possible? Lloyd, hear me out. If we think of the Desions as a part of Crucius, or perhaps their pawns, everything makes sense. I remember one of the Desion Five Grand Cardinals said that their boss was Eugdrasiel. And Eugdrasiel said that he was the leader of Crucius and the Desions when he appeared before us. If the Desions and Crucius are the same, well then what about Kratos? He obeyed Eugdrasiel's orders. That means... That's right. He's our enemy. He deceived us. He admitted it himself. He's one of Crucius's four seraphim. Kratos is likely a subordinate of Eugdrasiel. He probably joined us to make sure Colette didn't stray from the journey to regenerate the world. So we were deceived from the very beginning. By Remiel, the Crucius, even Kratos! Ah, you're awake. Then please, come with me to the next room. Our leader awaits you. You're finally awake. Are you the Renegades? Correct. We're an underground resistance dedicated to fighting the Desions, or rather the Crucius. So Crucius and the Desions really are the same organization? Correct. Crucius controls the Church of Martel in the open, and operates the Desions from behind the scenes. The Desions are a subordinate organization within Crucius. The Church of Martel is nothing more than an instrument created by Crucius to rule the world. Those who call themselves angels are half-elves who have evolved by using a special type of X-Sphere called Crucius Crystals. They aren't gods or anything of the sort. Of course, the Church of Martell and the Chosen know nothing about that. They're half-elves too? Yes. Some of the Desions, as well as Crucius and ourselves, are half-elves. What is Crucius trying to do? Are they doing all of this just to rule the world? Do you intend to have us explain everything? How about using your own head a little? 
Do they wish to revive the goddess Martell? They send oracles to those of the mana lineage and control their marriages to create chosens who become the vessel. It seems meaninglessly drawn out and complicated. Well, well. I am impressed. There is another world beyond Silverrun that competes for mana. Tetheola. Yes. The one who created this twisted world was Crucius's leader, Eudrasiel. Create a world? That's ridiculous! No one can do that! If that's what you believe, then our conversation ends here. Wait! If Eudrasiel was the one that created the two worlds himself, what can you possibly hope to do against someone like that? And that's not all. You tried to kill Colette and me! You're certainly not on our side. And yet, for some reason, you saved us. Why? You're not as stupid as you seem. Excuse me? Our goal is to stop Martell's revival. Therefore, the Chosen, who would become her vessel, was an obstacle. Unfortunately, the Chosen completed the Angel transformation. The Chosen is now a lethal weapon whose only goal is self-preservation. We wouldn't dare lay a hand on it. But now we have the key to stop Martell's resurrection. We no longer need the Chosen. What? What we need is you, Lloyd Irving. Me? What's so special about me? That's none of your concern. Get him! Ugh! Lord Ewan! No! It's his wound from Hyma. Kratos! How many times must you get in my way? Wound from Hyma? Are you telling me the one who attacked Kratos was... Lloyd! What are you doing? A piece of kit. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 